Welcome back to Mind and Body. Still to come, we've got Lucy in again in the zone telling us how to make the most of our imagination. But first, a new and unusual use for your jewellery from Gabrielle Gadd. Thanks for coming on to the show, Gabrielle. Now, you're an expert in gem essences. Mm -hmm. Now, I've, I've never heard of that before. I mean, where did it originate? Make, I mean, is it like actually making liquid from gemstones? Yeah, you cook gems in water, you boil them in water. And it's been used all, already in the 11th century, Hildegard von Bingen. She's been using gem essences as well, so it's an old thing to right. do. Right, and what are they used for? And uh, they help to uh, balance the emotions, and they also help with uh, illness and disease. Right, because you use them in um, therapy, don't you? I use them in psychotherapy. psychotherapy. And in massage as well. Yeah, yeah. And how, does, how do the, pro the properties of the gems and get through into the body by rubbing them on. I mean, how, how does the body sort of imbibe them? You take those internally, right. mostly. Yes. So you and just drink it like you would? Yeah, you take drops, and I mix them with the flower essences. Right. And obviously, you'd have to be careful, wouldn't you, about, or would you, about how much of it you actually take? Is it totally safe? It doesn't make, make a difference so much. It's really? on a homeopathic principle. Right. And, and there's no sort of danger involved in overdosing on, I don't on think topaz so. water. But usually, I tell, <laughs> tell people how many drops they should take. Right. Okay, so over here, we've got the basic essentials for making the essences. Can you just talk us through how you make an essence? So we've got some distilled water mm -hmm. and we need a, a natural stone. So it should be uncut, unpolished. Right. And shouldn't have any other stones in it. And what's that? And We've picked up turquoise there. Okay. The turquoise, yeah. And we put some salt into this distilled water and right. the, the glass has been cleaned in hot water as well. So I put some salt in. Let it dissolve. And then I put the turquoise in. No, just normal sea salt, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Put the turquoise in and keep it in there for 30 minutes. Right. Why does the stone have to be uncut? It's just the stone in, in its purest form. If there's polish on it, you know, it might have some chemicals right. on it. So, so it's it should the stone really be in its pure. purest form. Yeah, right. That's what okay. It is. And how long do you leave it there for? About 30 minutes. And then you take it out and you need a glass bowl, which you can put on a cooker. And you cook the stone again in distilled water for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that's the essence And you that's get it, then. right. Yeah. And then you said, what, um, can you just use it straight away or do you have to cool it down in the fridge first? Yeah, or? it's, it's yeah. hot then, yeah. You cool it down and you put it into a bottle, label it, and that's ready for use then. Okay, well we've got various sorts of um, essences here on the table. Uh, we just go through the properties of some of them. We've got topaz here, this very tiny golden sort of stone. What, pro mm -hmm. what properties does that have? And that's good for jealousy. Really? Envy. Yeah. So it's good for sort of emotional problems as well mm -hmm. as physical ones. Yeah, so I mainly go for emotional problems. So if you're feeling a bit jealous of someone, you can put four drops of topaz on the tongue four times a day, like it says on the bottle, and what, will that get rid of your what's jealousy? What's better, if you put some spring water into a dropper bottle and you put uh, four drops of this essence in there. Oh, so you have to mix it? Yeah. Right. And so then you, don't... you take it from that bottle right. for uh, four drops four times a day, usually. Okay, and we've also got fluorite over here. Now that sounds a lot like fluoride that we're used to in toothpaste. Are mm -hmm. the two connected? Yeah, it's the fluoride right. and it grows in, in England and it's good for English people, it's good for sexual <laughs> tension. Why is it specifically good for English people? It relaxes, it's good for All right. rigidity and for sexual problems. <laughs> I, I okay. use it a lot for my clients actually. <laughs> and what about rose quartz? We've seen that quite a lot on the show before. Rose quartz helps with pro uh, problems with the father and with men and with emotional problems. Right. Okay. And are these kind of things available in shops, and you can just buy them like you can? I don't know essential oils. Not very much. Yeah. You know, there is two places where you can order them. All right. And, and um, are they becoming as common as essential I oils? I hope so. Are they? Or they yeah, will do. I you think hope so. They're very good. Yes. Okay. Well, Gabrielle, thank you very much for coming onto the show and talking about uh, gem essences. But um, do you find that people accept the concept of gem essences? I think it takes a while because flowers, you could imagine I make some herb tea from chamomile and the chamomile goes into the water. But with stones, when I saw it for the first time, I thought, oh, nothing from the stone will go into the water. Right. So you have to try it out, actually. Okay. So it works on a homeopathic principle. Well, thank you very much for that, Gabrielle. Mm -hmm. Moving on now.